Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study dimensional and model analysis. In this video, we are going to understand some dimensions for physical quantities. So let us first understand what are the fundamental dimensions. So here is the length denoted as capital L, mass denoted as capital M and time denoted as a capital T. So in terms of these fundamental dimensions, we have to decide the other dimensions for the physical quantities. So we will take first physical quantity that is area. So how we can define this area? So area we can define here as a distance square. So distance we will take as a length. So I will write here length square that is L square. Then volume. So for volume we will take here there is a distance cube. That's why here L cube. Then density. So density is mass by volume. So for the mass it is capital M. And for volume it is L cube. So I will write here that this is L cube. is in the denominator. So I will shift to the numerator. So here is L raised to 3. So it will become M into L raised to minus 3. Then here velocity. So it is distance by time. So for distance I will take here length L divided by time T. So this T also I will shift to the numerator. So it will become L into T raised to minus 1. Now next is acceleration. So acceleration is we will define here as a velocity by time. So velocity here is L into T raised to minus 1. So I will write here divided by time that is t so now in this denominator term i will shift to the numerator so it will become t raised to minus 1 so t raised to minus 1 into t raised to minus 1 that is equal to l into t raised to minus 2 then momentum so momentum is mass into velocity so for velocity it is L into T raised to minus 1 and multiplied by mass that is M. So I will write here M into L into T raised to minus 1. Then force. So force is mass into acceleration. So for the acceleration it is T raised to minus 2 and for mass I will take here as a M. So I will write here M into for acceleration L into T raised to minus 2. Then next is weight. So weight that is mass into acceleration due to gravity. Now this acceleration and acceleration due to gravity we have to take here L into T raised to minus 2. So I will again write here M into L into T raised to minus 2. Now we will move for the next physical quantity that is pressure or stress. So pressure or stress that is equal to force upon area. So what is the dimension uh, for this force? So here force is ml t raised to minus 2. And what is the area? So we know that area that is L square. So if I write here m L T raised to minus 2 divided by 4 area that is L square. Then this L L is getting cancelled. So here in denominator there is only one L. So if I shift this to the numerator then it will be M L raised to minus 1 T raised to minus 2. So this is the dimension for this pressure or stress. Then the next is energy or work. So how we can define this energy or work? That is force into distance. So for this force we have to take for force ml t raised to minus 2. So I will take here ml t raised to minus 2 multiplied by with distance. So what is this distance? That is length L. So here multiplied by L that is L raised to 2. So here ml square t raised to minus 2. Then specific gravity. So how we can define this specific gravity that is density of object by density of water. So here density density is getting cancelled. That means here there is no any dimensions. So for no dimensions we have to take here the z1. Then next is potential energy. So how we can define this that is mass into acceleration due to gravity into height. 
so for the mass i will take here there is a capital m then acceleration due to gravity that is also equal to acceleration that is l into t raised to minus 2 into height so this height that means that it is in terms of length so here we will take here there is a l so l multiplied by l that is l raised to 2 so here m into l square into t raised to minus 2 is the dimension then power so power is energy upon time so what is the dimension for this energy so energy is m l square t raised to minus 2 and here is divided by time so if i write here t in the denominator then what is happening here so we have to shift this t in the numerator so i will write here m l square t raised to minus 2 divided by t so now this t we have to shift to the numerator that is it will become multiplied by t raised to minus 1 so in minus 2 minus 1 that is equal to t raised to minus 3 so i will write m l square t raised to minus 3 then impulse so impulse that is force into time so for force we have to write m l t raised to minus 2 so i will write here m l t raised to minus 2 into time that is only t so here t raised to plus 1 is there so t raised to minus 2 plus 1 that will here is t raised to minus 1 so i will write m l t raised to minus 1 then action so how we can define this action that is equal to energy into time or we can also define it momentum into distance so now we will cross verify this that is energy into time so what is the energy that is m l square t raised to minus 2 so if i take here m l square t raised to minus 2 into time that is t so t in raised to plus 1 is there so minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 so i will write here m l square t raised to minus 1 now momentum into distance so momentum means what mass into velocity so how i can write here mass into velocity that is l t raised to minus 1 into distance so distance that is l so suppose again if i multiply with l that will be m into l square so if we observe here m l square t raised to minus 1 that is both are same that is these two are the formulas energy into time or momentum into distance then angle so angle is length of arc by radius so length of arc that is l and radius that is also in terms of l so l l is getting cancelled that means this is dimensionless so we have to take here there is a one next is frequency so frequency notation is small f that is cycle by time now this cycle is dimensionless so we will write here 1 by t then the next is angular velocity so notation is omega that is equal to angle by time so we know that angle that is also dimensionless so we will write here as a 1 by t then the next is angular acceleration and that is equal to angular velocity by time. Now angular acceleration notation is alpha. So what is the angular velocity that is omega by t and angular velocity is 1 by t multiplied by 1 by t because it is divided by time. So if I write here 1 by t multiplied by t that is t square but when I take this t square to the numerator then it will become t raised to minus 2 then moment of inertia moment of inertia notation is i that is mass into radius square so mass is having m and radius is related to this length l so that is m into l square then the next is angular momentum so angular momentum notation is capital l and that is equal to radius into momentum so radius we will refer it as a length l multiplied by momentum so momentum is mass into velocity so velocity is l into t raised to minus 1 that means i will write here m into l into t raised to minus 1 so if i simplify this it will become m l square t raised to minus 1 now it is also defined as moment of inertia multiplied by angular velocity 
so moment of inertia is m into l square so if i write here m into l square multiplied by angular velocity so angular velocity that is 1 by t so that is also equal to m into l square into t raised to minus 1 so we can use any one formula then torque or moment so torque or moment so we will define it or notation is by capital T and which is equal to force into radius so what is force that is here m into l into t raised to minus 2 into radius we will refer it as a length l so here l multiplied by l that is l square so i will write here m l square t raised to minus 2 then the next is dynamic viscosity so its a notation is mu and that is what is the formula for dynamic viscosity so we know that tau divided by du by dy so tau is the shear stress divided by du by dy so how we can define this shear stress or stress that is equal to force upon area so for force i will write here m into l into t raised to minus 2 divided by area so area how we can define it length square so l square divided by velocity upon length so velocity that is l into t raised to minus 1 divided by length that is simply l now we will simplify this so this l l is getting cancelled in the numerator that means here divided by l only so if i take this l to the numerator it will become m into l raised to minus 1 t raised to minus 2 divided by now here also l l is getting cancelled and here is only t raised to minus 1 now if i take this t raised to minus 1 in the numerator then it will become t raised to plus 1 so t raised to minus 2 plus 1 that is t raised to minus 1 so how we can again simplify this m into l raised to minus 1 t raised to minus 1 so this is for no, this is the dimension for the dynamic viscosity mu now next physical quantity is kinematic viscosity and its a notation is nu and which is equal to dynamic viscosity by density so dynamic viscosity that is mu divided by density rho so dynamic viscosity m l raised to minus 1 t raised to minus 1 and what is density that is m l raised to minus 3 so if we simplify this this m m is getting cancelled and then this l moves to the numerator so it will become l raised to plus 3 so plus 3 minus 1 that is equal to uh, l raised to 2 l square t raised to minus 1 so here is the dimension for kinematic viscosity now we will move for the next that is the heat energy so its a notation is q so heat energy we will take the dimension for the energy that we have calculated earlier so energy that is m l square t raised to minus 2 that we have to take now if we observe there are another fundamental quantity that is fundamental dimensions that we will take here for temperature theta and electric charge we will take here q now next is entropy so entropy notation is s heat energy by temperature so heat energy that is m l square t raised to minus 2 divided by temperature so for temperature we will take theta so here we will write here m l square t raised to minus 2 theta raised to minus 1 then the next is current so current is electric charge by time so here electric charge this is the fundamental physical quantity that is electric charge q so for the electric charge i will write here q divided by t that is equal to q t raised to minus 1 then voltage voltage is energy by charge so what is energy m l square t raised to minus 2 divided by charge so that is electric charge q so again we will simplify this m l square t raised to minus 2 q raised to minus 1 then next is resistance r so its a notation is r voltage by current so voltage we have to write this m l square 
t raised to minus 2 q raised to minus 1 divided by current. So for current we will write here q t raised to minus 1. So now we will simplify this. So suppose if I take q to the numerator it will become q raised to minus 1. So q raised to minus 1, q raised to minus 1 it will become q raised to minus 2 and here t raised to minus 1 is there. So if I take to, to the numerator it will become t raised to plus 1. So minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1. So how I can write this? m l square t raised to minus 1 q raised to minus 2. So this is the simplified form for the resistance. Then capacitance. So its a notation is C. So charge by voltage. So here charge that is Q divided by voltage. So voltage V is there that is M L square T raised to minus 2 Q raised to minus 1. So now we have to move all the terms to the numerator. So here it will become Q raised to plus 1 that is Q into Q raised to plus 1 Q square. So I will write here M raised to minus 1 L raised to minus 2 T raised to 2. Q square. So here is the dimension for the capacitance C.